Greetings and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everybody's doing well this evening. This is episode 35 of Carl's Spirits. And tonight, we're going to be tasting Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey Blenders Select. Blenders Select from Bullet Bourbon. This is uh, number 001, so the first expression in the Blender Select offering line from Bullet. So let me uh, clear up a few things here about Bullet's Blenders Select. Uh, this is uh, done by Bullet, obviously, Frontier Bourbon, in conjunction with their parent company, Diageo. Diageo is currently running a craftswoman project, so they are celebrating the women of whiskey across the board. And Diageo has uh, lots of bourbons in the States, but they also have lots of Irish whiskeys and Scots, uh, Scotch whiskeys as well. So they're going through their distillery lines and they are selecting women to blend what they think uh, the taste profile should be for these special releases. So ultimately the goal is to celebrate women and allow women to, uh, in the industry, to really flex their creative skills and blend their own line of distinctive drinks. Uh, Bullet Blender Select, number 001. The first expression in the new line is uh, from a lady by the name of Ebony Major. And Ebony Major went through and selected three of the distillery's high rye bourbons, uh, took those recipes, she let them all age for around nine years, so no age statement on the bottle, but all of them were at least nine years old, and then bottled them at 100 proof. And uh, this was her blend of what she thought a good bourbon should taste like. So that's what we're going to do tonight is see if uh, Miss Majors, uh, Major, excuse me, uh, really came up with a great blend. There is no mash bill stated, uh, but uh, all three whiskeys are high rye coming from Bullet. It was bottled at 100 proof, all were at least nine years of age. In the glass, I don't know if you can see today, uh, in the glass, it's a good dark amber, medium to dark amber, it's not completely dark, uh, dark uh, medi medium dark amber, uh, and it has very good lines. They really stick to the glass well. Uh, the legs that come down are uh, very uh, viscous looking. So, what about uh, in the glass? Well, wow. The first thing I get is a lot of vanilla bean. Uh, we've all had the wife buy the lotion, the vanilla bean lotion. It smells a little bit like that. But there's also a lot of sweetness here. There's some honey notes that really stand out on the nose. What about taste? This is surprisingly smooth. It's a very smooth pour. It's very rich, creamy. Uh, vanilla cream leads the way. Uh, that vanilla nose really translates over into the taste. But there's also some uh, oak notes here. And uh, we're talking about oak notes. We're not talking the typical caramels and vanillas, but just oak, the woody oak uh, taste. There's a lot of dark fruits in this as well. The mouthfeel is medium. There's a little bit of a chew to it, but it's not um, much. It's not oily or buttery. It's just kind of uh, kind of right there in the middle. It defies a lot of description. And as I've sat here and tasted this whiskey today, I think that's a lot about this whole pour. Uh, the finish is very warm. The rye really shows up at the end, right in the back of the mouth down the chest, uh, throat, and into the chest. It's a nice, smooth burn. It's not off-putting at all. It's very comforting. Overall, it's a good drink. It's a limited release. Uh, so you would expect it to be a good bourbon, and it is. What new expressions will be as they are released, we don't know. 
Uh, what is 002 going to be? I have no idea. 001 is what the bottle is. It has a very unique character. I don't find it overly complex. Uh, I find it very well balanced. And overall, it's a satisfying pour. I like it. Uh, for the price, about 60 bucks a bottle. Um, I think there are some others out there that are as good, or and there are many who at that price are even much, much better. So, Carl rating. I'm going to give this four and a quarter stars. That's 4.25 stars. And here's why. While it is very balanced, while it is very smooth, hey, that's great. Good job, uh, Ebony Major, wherever you are. The bullet blender for expression 001. Great job. I just think with a powerhouse like Diageo, we could get some bourbon with a little bit more complexity, uh, some deeper, deeper notes that really stand up and say, here I am. Uh, right now, I just got to get a, a good, smooth bourbon. It's not overly complicated. And that's why I'm only giving it four and a quarter stars. But it is a very enjoyable bottle. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey. This is Blenders Select Batch 001 from Ebony Major at the Bullet Blender at Bullet Bourbon. Uh, I think it's a great, great pour. I don't think it's an awesome pour. So, Ladies, gentlemen, that's my review of Bullet Blender Select. Peace and happy pours.